Hey guys, here we go into a video of Teofimo Lopez's knockout of the year against Richard Comey. A fantastic performance and a fantastic way to teach positions and the importance of understanding what position you are in and what position your opponent in are in at all times. Now, first off, I'd like to thank you for checking out my channel. I'd like to ask that you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you enjoy the content, feel free to share it on Facebook or Instagram or wherever. Um, I really appreciate the support. And if you're an up-and-coming fighter and you're looking to learn about positions, learn about how to generate power, learn how to generate speed or train with speed, um, or learn advanced uh, technical aspects of fighting um, and how to fight somebody, how to set up your attacks, how to faint, probe, uh, change positions, um, and if you're interested in learning any of that stuff, come check out my Patreon where I will be doing full breakdowns of your personalized training videos, of your shadow boxing, your heavy bag work, your sparring, um, or any other fights that you may be interested in. Uh, check them out on my Patreon. Uh, it's a much more expanded version of all of my film studies. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Teofimo Lopez. And the first thing I want to talk about is Teofimo Lopez loves to jab from the back foot. Uh, his weight is always on the back foot, and he loves to go from the back foot, exploding to the front foot uh, through his jab. Now, what I want you to focus on here is the position of his head, how his head is always on the left side or the right side of Comey, right? Comey's left side, but um, his right side, the right side of Comey uh, when he shoots these jabs, not electing to cross the line. Um, then when we look at Comey shooting his jabs, controlling the space, uh, Teofimo Lopez staying in a similar position, right? Now, it's important to notice that when Teofimo Lopez shoots his jab, he stays on the back foot, whereas Comey looks to be landing his, shooting his jab and being on the front foot uh, to get all the power into that shot. Now, what does that say for Teofimo Lopez? Well, as Teofimo Lopez approaches the line, Comey looks to control him. But because Teofimo Lopez approaches the line from position two and not position one, his left hand is generally going to be down. Uh, and that makes Richard Comey believe that he can shoot this jab to catch him or this right hand over the top as Teofimo Lopez comes into range. Now in the, in the next clip, in round two, Comey looks to control Teofimo Lopez and set a trap for him. So again, Teofimo Lopez likes to shoot that jab from the position two into position one, and Comey is already there waiting to catch that jab and counter him. But Richard Comey is looking to get all of his weight in that jab, so you can see his weight being thrust to his front foot, and then thrusting all his weight to the front foot through the right hand as well. So the trap trying to catch Teofimo Lopez's jab, because he shoots it from the back foot, usually stepping forward, and then going over the top with it, not just trying to catch him with the jab here, but trying to catch him in the similar way with the pull counter with the right hand over the top. But the most important thing that you want to pay attention to are the positions in which Comey's head are ending at the end of each of these attacks. Both of them ending with him on the front foot and his weight on the front foot. <clears throat> now as we continue going through, Tufimo Lopez, again, continuing to shoot that jab from the back foot leaping into Richard Comey as, as Comey continues to time him and set his own traps. But again, when Comey shoots this jab, his head is on the front foot. And now while his, his arm is covering his chin, he's still going to be vulnerable to an attack in position one. So an overhand right from this position, um, as well as the overhand right when he shoots the jab here or the right hand here. And that brings us to the knockout. So what happens, Teofimo Lopez enters the line from position two, and Richard Comey expects it to be a jab, expecting Teofimo Lopez to go from here and then bring his weight back through the jab. And then that, that makes Richard Comey think that he's going to be able to shoot a right hand into the same position. However, when he gets to the line, instead of Teofimo Lopez shooting the jab and transferring his weight back to position two, he shoots a right hand and transfers his weight to position one and gets his weight all the way on the front foot, very similarly to the right hands that Richard Comey was throwing. However, because of the fact that Richard Comey believes that Teofimo Lopez is going to end his punch in position two on the back foot, he throws his right hand to Teofimo Lopez's back foot. 
and Teofimo Lopez knows that when he faints and gets on the line with Comey, Comey's going to throw all of his weight into the shot, either the jab, which ends with him on position one, or the right hand, which ends with him on position one. So he knows to throw his right hand, not at Richard Comey's back foot, but throwing the right hand at Richard Comey's front foot. Now, the reason this is a perfect knockout is because not only is Teofimo Lopez able to get all of his weight into this shot by crossing Richard Comey's line, but because of the fact that Richard Comey is crossing Teofimo's Lo Teofimo Lopez's line at the same time, he's getting all of his weight into Teofimo Lopez's punch as well. So Teofimo Lopez not only is getting credit for having good punch technique and a solid uh, kinetic chain, which is a standard for any punch, but he's also getting credit for getting his weight into the punch as well as Richard Comey's weight. So this punch is on average going to be three times as hard um, as any standard punch on the line. Um, and that's why this is absolutely the perfect knockout. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and to share the video if you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to sign up for my Patreon um, if you're interested in personalized training breakdowns and personalized film studies of your own training, your own sparring, your own fighting, um, all in the hope to develop you as a fighter. Um, anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, thanks, guys.